It seems like deflation is finally beginning to start and we're seeing prices stabilize and start to go down. In this video, we're going to talk about what I'm seeing and why I think deflation is starting right now, as well as what you guys should be doing leading up to this new update on Saturday. And then basically just go over a general market analysis as well as new leaks that we've seen about the upcoming update. If you want access to this information as soon as humanly possible, you're going to have to join our Discord where we update you about the economy in the moment. And we do daily giveaways on there with giving away a huge pet every other day. So really, there's no reason you shouldn't be joined up. Link will be down in the description. It's absolutely free. Our staff on there can help you with whatever pet simulator questions you have. I'm not going to delay it too much because I got to get this video out to you guys before it's too late. Let's talk about why deflation is finally coming. So it's currently around 10 a.m. And at the 9 a.m. Eastern wrap update, we did see an increase to both the huge happy computer and the huge happy rock of 200K. Now, I know what you're thinking. If the wrap update just increased, how are we seeing a deflation period? The deflation actually seemed to begin to start right at the end of the last wrap update. So we didn't get to see its effects truly hit the wrap price. It seems like people are just beginning to panic sell for absolute no real reason. There's not any new information that has come out. So obviously this is just driven by pure emotions, but this is usually how we see deflation happen most times in Pet Simulator 99. So as you guys can see behind me, we have this guy who's selling a huge happy computer. That's a decent level for 300K under wrap. And I did my whole intro and was standing there for a few minutes and this thing has not sold. This is pretty much the same condition that you can find throughout any trading plaza right now. I'm going to go to a different server real quick just to show you that these things are not selling. Now, I'm in a second lobby, and as we can see here, this guy has a bunch of them selling for 100k below wrap value. We can sit over here while I'm talking just to see if any of these actually do sell while we're here. But I've been to a bunch of lobbies where these things are just not selling for wrap price, and then even the ones below wrap price aren't even selling. So from what I'm seeing here, this is usually the signs that deflation is beginning to start. I think I just caught on to it pretty early here because I did notice it right before the wrap update because nobody was buying these happy computers that I was seeing below wrap. We did just see somebody walk by, check out these huge computers and not buy any. So it really is looking like we're seeing the beginning signs of deflation. This also could just be a period of stabilization where prices kind of just even out because we have seen insane price increases over the past few days. I think we were expecting those price increases over this time period anyways so they're not the most insane price increases it wouldn't be super uncommon to see a period of deflation after seeing such a crazy in inflation period now some reasons that we could be seeing these happening is because some people are speculating that the new huge and titanic daycare that we're going to be seeing in the new update is just not going to be that good i'm kind of in the same boat here i really don't feel like they're going to make it that good just because of how crazy inflation has already been. I don't see them putting something into the game that makes people even more diamonds. But with big games, who really knows at this point? But I truly don't think there's actually any reason why this deflation is beginning to start. I honestly just think it is people panic selling because prices have gone up so much. And they've been holding on to their huges for a while. So they've been wanting to sell anyways because of how much they've seen the prices increase already. But again, I just want to reiterate that I do think these prices will bounce back after this deflation period before the update, which is coming on Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern. So if we do see this deflation period start at 1 p.m. Eastern today, I'd probably begin to buy more huges as the prices start to go up again because I just feel like this inflation period is not over. As you guys can see here, Big Games just released this new tweet giving a little sneak peek leak into the new stages that we're going to be seeing in this new update. As you guys can see here in this picture, we see some little mini game looking toxic area that's going to be in this new update as well as a new bundle machine which looks pretty sick. From what it looks like, it seems to be like some sort of new fruit bundle. I can't really tell what's in there. After I upload this, I'll probably think about what's in there, but let me know down below what you guys think these new bundles are going to contain. To me, it kind of looks like some new fruit or something, but yeah. The reason I show you guys that is because since we are getting new levels being added to the game, every time this happens, we end up being able to farm more and more diamonds each update. And it currently seems like a lot of people are at that point where they can buy at least one new huge a day just from grinding, even with these insane prices. So 
If we're able to make even more diamonds, I can only see inflation going even crazier in this new update. And then again, it's also possible that we see an update to the max amount of diamonds you can hold, which always increases inflation even more. The only potential deflation I see after this update is if they introduce something that is truly a diamond sink to the game that people can just spend their diamonds on and those diamonds aren't just circulated through the economy like trading is. Now the developer David has been talking a lot about this new clan system that we are expected to see in this new update. So I assume if there is some new clan system this will give us some more reason to spend diamonds on some clan stuff which would be a really good diamond sink. I just hope it's as intricate as he's been making it seem like. As you guys can see as I was talking this guy just put up a booth with four new 27 million diamond huge happy computers so these are 600k below wrap. And I guess we'll just sit up here and watch and see if anybody actually buys these for 600k less than wrap. And then you guys can pretty much make that decision for yourself if you think deflation is coming or not. Again, we did notice this really early on, so we haven't seen the actual wrap price be affected yet. But I guess we are going to see at the 1pm Eastern wrap update if this is true. So if you're watching this at the 1 p.m. wrap update and the rep price of these huges has gone down since then from 27.6 million, then we could probably expect that we are going to see a little deflation period before this update. Now, it does look like somebody... I thought this guy bought one of these computers, but he I believe he actually bought one of the Rainbow Huges that was in this booth. I was about to start doubting myself, but this guy has not bought any of the Huge Happy computers yet for 600k below wrap. If I were you guys, it's probably a good time to sell the Huges that you do not need for your team around wrap value. And then you should keep a close eye on the prices coming to this new update. Begin to rebuy those Huges once the prices begin to turn around and start inflating again. If you want to know exactly when deflation ends and inflation begins again, make sure you join up on the Discord. We will definitely be covering that in there. So that's the place you're going to want to be. I want to go ahead and panic sell too much, but I definitely am expecting the prices of these computers to go down for a little bit, probably about four to five wrap updates worth, and then probably bounce back before the update. As you guys can see, nobody's bought any of these huges, and this guy actually replaced them and dropped them another 200k. I guess we'll see if somebody buys these. On top of that, we just had an auction for one for 26 million that didn't sell, so that's 1.6 million below wrap. This deflation period might be worse than I thought. I don't think this deflation period is something serious that's going to hurt the prices too much. I think this is just a little panic sell that we're going to see before this update. But because Preston told people to save up their huges and Titanics, we'll most likely see these prices go back up before this update even comes out. So this is one of those things where you just got to watch closely. And if you do end up selling your huges now, watch the prices closely. So when they begin to bounce back, you can buy up and be safe from that big inflation that we're expecting to see in this new update. All right. So I did a lot of yapping there. I, I hope I didn't lose too many of you guys, but I think pretty much all that information was very necessary just so you guys understand the state of the market and how things change so quickly and you really got to stay on top of these things since my last video we've seen this chess mimic bounce back completely it's now at a whopping 356 million diamonds in wrap value the boss chess mimic is selling for 127 million wrap so we have seen a steady increase in this boss chess mimic price i can't say i'm surprised because i do feel like this boss chess mimic is pretty good and very close to the chess mimic i think without the new mastery stuff the boss chess mimic would be on the same level as the chess mimic the only difference between these is that this one is still in the exclusive shop but this one is not anymore but as you guys know from my last video we could see the chess mimic get back into the exclusive shop in this new update so we're gonna have to honestly just see no one knows if it's gonna be in the new update or not but it does look likely due to those leaks that we saw besides these two the diamond chess mimic is rising as well as the lucky block in the massive comet but nothing too crazy i might have to do another test of this diamond chest mimic just to make sure it hasn't changed because previously in this update it was just not that good if we do see the enchants get removed from the exclusive shop and more enchants be put in we could probably see the prices of the boss chest and the super shiny hunter increase dramatically but again that's just a gamble so I try to only invest in things that I know for sure are going to happen, so I don't want 
to take a risk but i thought i'd let you guys know just in case you do want to take that risk chess spell has gone up in price as well still don't think it's worth this much but if people want to buy it people want to buy it it is pretty rare so that could be a big contributing factor to this royalty charm and the overload charm are still going up in price little by little as we do see the charm stone prices continue to fall to me it seems like i don't think these charm stones are going to fall much more because this is just such a cheap price for something that can give you a charm that's worth over 7 million diamonds in terms of the eggs the emoji egg is still lacking behind the fruit egg and the valentine's egg so if you are going to invest in the eggs i would probably buy some of these or if you want to play a little risky these super jelly eggs might be a good investment they are cheaper than those three previous eggs i was talking about and if they do end up removing this egg from the exclusive shop in this new update then we will see the price of this egg probably jump up so this would be a good investment for some of you but again that's a risky play that you're gonna have to take your chances on if you think that's a good idea overall though that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about in this video it it does seem like we are beginning to see a period of deflation start as people begin to sell these huges for wrap and below wrap and nobody's buying them after I'm done editing this video, I probably will go through and sell a bunch of these huges that I have in hopes that the prices do go down and I can buy back more before this new update comes out. That's just what I'm doing personally. I'm here to give you guys the information so you can make that decision for yourselves. Remember to join up the Discord for updates on when that deflation and inflation is happening, as well as all the leaks and stuff that we can find on this new update coming on Saturday. We'll all be in that Discord. Hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.